I just paid two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for this abandoned storage unit behind me full of who knows what first off you see that guitar case isn't it just beautiful looking me right in the face let's get to that in a second but first this feels super light let's see what's in the first box of the unit oh wow thank you thank you that's this is what I paid three grand for you know what I'm good I'm going home you can have the rest I got comfy pillows now if I sit in this, would you feel comfortable yeeting me down the hallway? Yeah, I mean, okay. I only got one hand, so I'll try my best. All right, I'm kind of heavy. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> I sit down the hallway, not into the unit. I can't control it, I got one hand. Welcome to my funeral, everybody. I got do -si dos Yay! What's inside? Yes. There we go. I'm gonna wear this the rest of the video. St. Louis hat. There we go. Bullet line. What's a bullet line? Let's find out. Come out. Come out. Mm. What is this guy? Look at it. Come here. What is that? An Afton. Something. Looks like a, it has a little temperature gauge right there. So Afton Chemical Stage Gauge Project Management. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had that on already. There's <laughs> that. What is this? Looks like a, is that a little. Donkey. I was just about to say that. It looks like it would be for coins or something. I wish there were some coins in there. It does have a little, little club. Oh, cool. It does have a little. It's just a bag in there though. That is cool. Check that out. Little miniature golf club right there. Is that a pin? That T? Yeah. What do you think's in a white box though? Let's see. Mm. A coffee mug. A passion for solutions. That's it. it. Doesn't say nothing else. Passion for. I have a passion for solutions. This is too. like the box that they pack up when they fire someone. Exactly. Like, Here's like, all your stuff. <laughs> Tom, you're fired. Pack up your office and go. <laughs> this is what you got. This is just a safety mug. And the only other thing in there is a golf coffee mug. Or did I say golf coffee mug? Golf, That's yes. what I meant to say. Aside from that guitar case, this bottom box says crystals on it. So I'm really curious to see what kind of crystals we have. But let's work our way down that tower right here. Rubbermaid. What is this? Is something wrapped up or is this just fabric? Fabric, fabric. Ooh, no, there's something the here. box. What's in the box? <laughs> what is this? That. And then we have... Ooh, this is heavy. It's like a cake box. It does. What's this like an old rotten expired cake in here? That'd be nice. Come here. Oops. Well, it's just like clothing and like a hand it's crafting sewn stuff. stuff. They made Religious. Stuff. Is it all? Uh, no, this is like it's a. New, this right here, yeah, is like the generic photo that comes in the album. Ooh, look. A silver plated dresser set right there. That's really nice. Then this one, again, this is supposed to be for a newborn baby too. You put the baby and you put their uh, hair in it right there, but it's never been used once again. So, hey, this is some nice stuff. The only other thing in here is a silver plated birth record photo album. Let me make sure it's not personalized because I see things remembered and they usually personalize things. Uh, mm, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. This one's personalized. So this will make sure the original owner family gets back somehow. This one says trophies on it. So maybe it's just somebody's personal trophies. Looks like it's been open, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, no trophies. Not oh, there's trophies. trophies. I that see two. Oh. Tommy Pickles. Rugrats. That is cool. That is cool. If you're a 90s kid, you know those Rugrats are legendary. Ooh, is this a camera? This looks like a camera, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, it is. I see the camera in there. Come out, come out. Ugh, without breaking, please. There it is. Look at this guy. If I can get it out of its case. There we go. The Yashika. Look at that, beautiful little camera. Electro 35GX, beautiful. Let's put that over here. Then we have one, two, three, four trophies, which again, we'll give back to them. And then this here is a super soft plush blanket. It's actually brand new though with the tag, so that's cool. This one just says CMW Room. I don't know if that's an initial, I don't know if that's an acronym or what that is. Let's see, ooh, wow. I see this. Stencils, scrapbooking stuff. And then we have, ooh, what is this? Is this all unused scrapbooking stuff? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Scrapbooking page protectors. This is more scrapbooking stuff. This stuff's not cheap. Look at the Walmart bag. That's Who old. Who remembers those remember. Walmart bags right there? The this smiley face. 2001. Remember when we used to, as kids, go into Walmart and get smiley stickers? Yes. And now we just get ignored by the employees. <laughs> How times have changed. 
strap album, more scrapbooking stuff, a lot more scrapbooking. This is all oh, this brand the, new though. This is the color of the bag. Yeah, it is. Like old. This is all new. Is this one, okay, this one looks like it's missing a cover. Is this one pre-owned? Okay, this one's pre-owned. Of course, the ones that they've used, we'll put in their box to give back to the owners. But all this brand new scrapbooking stuff, that is gonna be worth some money. That box was all paperwork and personal photos, so we set it aside. You know what I think of that? Whoa. Hey! No, it's just foam. That's supposed to kill me. It's foam. Ow, it still hurts though. <laughs> All right. Crystal box. Crystal box. Is it actual crystal? Let's see. This is one of the ones I've been trying Let's to get paper. into. That's a good sign. Maybe they wrapped it up and took care of it. It better not be more photos because we need to make up three thousand plus dollars for this unit to make it worth it. So let's cut down the middle and find out. Come on. Give me crystals. I want like amethysts and rocks and all that good stuff. Let's see. Well, it looks like dishware, but is it crystal dishware? That's the question. That is dishware. Ready? Click Let me it. Give the little test. Let's see. Ooh, you Ooh, hear that? Ooh, hear that ring. Listen, it's still ringing. It's still ringing. It's still <laughs> ringing because it's crystal. Uh, definitely a big dish set, isn't it? Look at that. This is full of cups and everything all the way down. Does this have a brand on it? Uh, no, literally, it says nothing. Anybody recognize that? particular glass let us know down in the comment section you know what was worth the three thousand dollars on its own i mean look at all these shipping boxes one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven boxes plus Guess all what? these what? i can ship you and these i don't think so you know if i was on a tv show right now i'd be going like 100 200 300 <laughs> 400 but unfortunately i'm not but those are always good to have still these and these let's pull out the guitar case you see fender fender baby let's pull this out it's definitely not empty so that's a positive where is the zipper it's another question here we go let's get this guy out of here and see what we're working with look at that Ooh. Oh, why is it upside down? Why is it in like that? Yeah. Hold on. Damn! Oh. Check that's that a out. Stereotypical looking guitar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it's a Squire. I think that's what it says right there. Anything else on the front? Any information up here? We have a Squire Strat by Fender. Not that I'm seeing like a model number or anything like that. So pretty. I don't know. You see one? No, it says pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. But what's the back of the? thing up there go look at the back oh there we go there we go i'm not reading all that information on there but there SN, it is in serial number now we can look this up and see if it's like a hundred dollar guitar or a five six hundred dollar guitar because i don't know right now all right so we got this guitar home tell me if it works you can tell me it works really really nice also we should mention that we don't have an amp so this is just like a studio monitor speaker that also came from a unit <laughs> that it's just plugged into, but like, you can hear how like, it works. Uh oh. It works, and That's... it's so nice. All right, fine, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to. I do. <laughs> Nobody else is getting it, don't ask. Comment if you know the song. <laughs> Somebody got to know that. Put it in the comments. You know what I'm excited about? Look at this hard case right here, which I don't know what could be in there. But in this box right here, it looks like a sealed old video game. If it's the one I think it is, based on what I played a lot as a kid. If it is, we're in good shape. I also noticed this camera bag from the picture. So let's see. Oh, never mind. I got this in it. What is that? The flash. Yep, that's a flash. Check that out. Minota Auto 132PX flash. Does that mean the camera itself is in there? Yes, it does feel like it. Another camera. We are just into this unit and I already got two cameras. Same kind of weird case. Look, Minolta X700. Beautiful though, beautiful. Let's put this back down. Any other pieces in here? Not in this section, but there's a back section too. Let's see what's back here. Uh, there we got some manuals for it. Uh, lens cap maybe it looks like. Another manual. Yeah, there's the actual thing for it. So hey, this one's pretty nice. Oh, there's stuff in the front too. What's in the front? Ooh, another lens. A whole nother lens to go with it too. This bag right here is money. What's your guess of the hard case? My guess? Well, hmm. it could be camera equipment. It could be. That's expensive too. Or it's a briefcase full of money. 
That's always another possibility, right? Let's go with that one. I like that one just a little more. Yeah. This is heavy though. What is in this? Ooh, an HP inkjet 3220 or 3320. That. And then we have, what is this guy? Oh, like a golf ball display. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put this over here. Please stay. Thank you. What is that? Oh, painting supplies. What's all the weight coming from? Old calendars, calendars, Mustang calendars, sports calendars. Oh, what's in here? This is where a lot of weight. Oh, those are all golf balls. So look. A ton of different golf balls. Yeah, look at collectible ones. I'm not sure. That is one sport I know absolutely nothing about. But there are a ton of golf balls in there to go with the shelf. That's where a lot of the weight's coming from. This, on the other hand, oh look. That's an old PlayStation 2 manual. That's a good sign though. Maybe we have more vintage video games. We have the 360 box and the one box I think is an old video game. But other than that, this is just what what? What are these? Ooh, are those Game Boy cases? Oh, they're cases. Okay, so these still are, another sign. Yeah, these are cases for Game Boy Color games. Um, yeah, that's definitely a good sign. I don't see any actual games in there, but it's definitely a good sign. What is that? The Game Share. Ooh, look at that. Definitely a good sign. So well, I was looking through it before I packed it up, and we did miss one game, and it just so happens to be Pokemon right off the gate. So you know what? If we're finding Pokemon this early in, look how far back we have to go. You know there's gonna be more in there. This was something else we saw that looks very interesting. USMC photos from 1944. So some World War II era photos. That'll be cool. Should I go to the Xbox box or the trains and trains. books? Trains and books? Yeah, Let's save see. the Xbox a little Okay, longer. it's only a 360 if it's in there. Still. Let's see. Oh, well, I see. Ooh, no, what are these? These are trains, aren't they? Look at that. Hey, Cardiff. Shining Time Station. Yeah, in good shape, too. These are in really good shape. That's good cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, old Toys R Us. We got a Toys R Us sticker. Rip to Toys R Us. That's cool. Oh, look, here's the receipts for them back then. They bought these on. Let's see if we can find a date on the receipt. Oh, my gosh. Guess when they bought these? Oh. August 27th, 1994. That's the year I was born. This is like, they bought these like seven months after I was born. It's a Toys R Us bag. Oh my gosh. The nostalgia. Look at these. And they're such good shapes. They've Isn't probably it? been in storage for all these years. Isn't it crazy that like even the old Walmart bags had the new craft scrapbook stuff in it? So it's like, yeah. they kept these old bags and just let them sitting. Why did so many companies seem to just get rid of like the joy? Like Toys R Us has gone all together now, but like the colorful bags, the smiley faces from Walmart. What about the play places and red roofs and McDonald's? Now we just look like boring offices. Oh, I don't understand. Then we have some books over here. These are, oh look, that is a creepy looking Thomas the Train. Yeah, it looks so sad. So this is all Thomas the Train books actually. So this whole box is just books. There's a few more. There's just a few old school books in here too. Okay. Is that the Bernstein beers? No, it looks like them though. Oh, okay, so these are these are money though for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth some money. Look what else I almost missed. The Power Ranger hat signed by Jason. And I just looked up one of the Power Ranger actors is named Jason, so that's probably really nostalgic. It could be extremely valuable. So I did some quick research and found that the Power Ranger that was named Jason in real life was the Green Power Ranger, and this actor is actually deceased. So if you go to eBay and look through sold listing, a lot of things signed by him are going for two, three hundred dollars even more, and this one could be even more valuable because I don't see this hat anywhere for sale. So if anyone has any idea, definitely let us know down in the comments. Do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you're new because we're forever buying awesome storage units. And if you hear this, leave a comment down below saying this storage unit is amazing. Look at this. They went over the max height of stored materials. Just for that, they're selling your stuff to me. That's what they get. I want to see <laughs> if I am as nerdy as I think I am. And I am. I see the top to it. That looked like SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom on Game Boy. That's sealed. Whoa. SpongeBob oh Battle for Bikini Bottom on Game Boy Advance. Sealed. Seeing that box. I played this game so much, but on PlayStation 2 as a kid, and it was a really fun one. I played it on that. Oh my gosh, Rome Total War. I used to play this game on PC. I was like obsessed with like Greek history, so I would love to just make an entire massive army of Spartans and like nobody could ever beat them. That's a Sega. This stuff? Yeah. Where? Right here. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. That's but definitely it does cool. Say PC. Yeah. Then we got Harry Potter. Is this one of those disc cleaners? Yeah, look at that. CD, DVD cleaning system. Hmm. That's cool. Then some old VHSs that are labeled with people's names. So I'm gonna guess they're probably personalized stuff. So we'll make sure they get that back as well. Look at this. Oh, 
Honey, I'm home. Doesn't this look like one of those like briefcases you would take to work in like the 50s yeah. in the movies? Let's see, how do I open this one? Oh, it's got a passcode? No, no passcodes. No passcodes, man. Come on. Uh, well, it's definitely heavy too. That's the annoying. Oh yeah, there's definitely something in here heavy, but I'd rather not break it because it looks nice. So maybe we'll see if I can find anything in the unit that can give us a side of what the code may be. This is a box of Braxton seat covers and those are in there, so that's good. Then a Coleman electric quick pump right here. Okay. Let's put them down here so that I can get to this weird little miniature blue tote here. Where's the infamous storage unit air mattress? It's in every unit by law. Oh well, look, so this is a mix of, it looks like Christmas balls and baseball memorabilia. Well, look at that actually. It's a little, I thought it was Coca-Cola. It, it is Coca-Cola. I was about to say, I saw a polar bear. Coca-Cola Christmas ornament. And then we have, check these out. Glass Santa ornament. Rams. That's pretty cool. And then St. Louis Rams, little football ornament. Then this one is Cardinals baseball. Then this guy, Albert something for the Ooh. Cardinals. And then another Mark Cardinals McGuire. one. Okay, isn't he one of the steroid guys? Yeah. Oh, poor guy. But the sports stuff could be worth money. The other Christmas balls, I'd say more so a yard sale type thing. We have a Sunbeam fan forced heater, which is in box. That's cool. Let's get this green coat here and see what's in this guy. Come on, we want cool collectibles. Oh, I see Christmas. Christmas usually isn't cool collectibles. It could be. This has some light bulbs in it. There's that. This has some Christmas cards, Christmas cards. Oh, I see Coca-Cola something. What is this guy? Oh, look, it's a Town Square collection. It's a Coca-Cola one. So anything Coca-Cola is collectible. Those are always worth money. A little bit of Santa here. Oh, I almost knocked it down, huh? Mm -hmm. This one here. Ooh, get out. Paw prints? Okay, that. Let's see. It's just a bunch of ornaments, but they're all like this. Like, how am I supposed to know what it is? Uh, well, that one has a picture. That's how I know how that one is. But the other one didn't. Let's see, let's go to this side now. Ooh, look, a little M&M tin. Anything in there? It sounds like something's in there. Let's see what it is. What is that? A little pillow, oh, baby's first Christmas. This is going back to the give back pile over here. We'll make sure they get that back. And then we got some more pine stuff and just some more like this. Oh, look at that, that's a big Coca, is it Coca-Cola? No, just a Santa Claus train. And there's one down there, like a nativity scene. So good stuff actually. Let's see if the Xbox 360 Elite, it definitely feels like it has the weight to be in there. I'm gonna set it right here. Let's see, I don't wanna destroy the box because you don't find these boxes very often anymore. The consoles are fairly common, but let's see. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, you know what it just makes me think of instantly? <laughs> Being in a Modern Warfare 2 mop lobby, having some 12 year old tell me all the things he did with my mom. All those great memories, you know? That's what it just brings to my head <laughs> instantly. Beautiful times, beautiful times. If you didn't get to live through them, I'm sorry. Look at that. Power brick, power wire, HDMI cable. Everything except for a controller is in that box. Let's fill the tower up so we can have another table since we just loaded that stuff up. This one, really? You know what, I'm about to build a fort. I'm gonna have a whole pillow fort when I'm done with this unit. Oh, a little heavier. Let's Is see. Is between them? No. This one, okay, I was about to say, this one felt heavier than that last one. That last one you could tell was just pillows. This one's just pillows and a random vase. Thank you, thank you for that. Well, at least we're building a base. We're building a base. That's what this is all about, building. All right, this one, oh, come on, really? All of these, this whole side boxes are just pillows? This looks like my pillow, never mind. This is the same color as mine on the top. These are all pillows, well, does that mean, oh gosh, no. This one's definitely not. What's this? I mean, they could be sleeping with bricks, you never know. Let's see what's in this box here. There it is. Oh, the air mattress. The air mattress. You happy? We finally found no. it. It's legally required to be in every single storage unit you buy by law. Let's take a look at the USMC photos from 1944. This is going to be cool if that's actually what it is. Oh, it is too. Look at this. Can you see those with the... Yeah. That's crazy. Now these are going to be collectible. Oh gosh, that's some oh. dude on the battlefield. Oh Why my not gosh. Shady? Yeah, maybe not. Well, I mean, the ones that Ooh. aren't like that, <laughs> then you can show. Okay, that's some dude that just got really either blown up or shot. Look at these, like these giant machine guns, and they all have little things on the back. Look at this, hold on. So it's this, it tells you what's actually happening. First so, aid on the spot. Which tells me these are probably given out to just veterans, so it's not like somebody's personal photos, maybe. I don't know, but that, wow. 
is super cool. That is just staring history in the face. Wow, look at all that. I don't have no idea, nor do I want to have any idea what these people went through because I could not imagine it. I would not make it, not at all. Underneath that, we have a new cookbook, and then we have two just brand new photo albums, it looks like. Yep, two brand new photo albums. Are these silver or anything? No, but they are from 2006 and they got $20 price tags on them. So, hey, you want me to go to CDs or desk? Because desk, ah. no idea what they have in their desk. They could have a gun. CDs, it could be music CDs or it could be like video games, old ones. So, either one has potential. CDs. Hey, pick. CDs? Okay. Oh, gosh. This one's heavy. The CDs sound more interesting than this. Hey, this guy has some military photos. You never know what could be sitting in his desk. You yeah. know what I keep in my desk? A freaking 1911. Where did my knife go? Let's see right here. Did this just came right off the keychain. I don't even know how that happened, but okay. Let's just use it to slice. Slice the tape off, slice down the middle, and let's see what's in here. It was, they're all individually wrapped. Look at that. They're all individually wrapped. These are gonna be, looks like more so music, huh? A Tribe Called Quest the anthology. Look at this, Mob Deep. Uh, oh, look at that. What? The music of Grand Theft Auto 4 soundtrack. So it looks like a lot of hip hop type stuff here. Then what's this one here? Thrice. And then we have that one. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna open like two or three to see if I see any video games Excuse or me. if they're all just music. So let's open one more here. This one, ooh. Jimi Hendrix. This is all music again. Let's go down again. One more level. Uh, oh, there's st other stuff down, down here. here. There's stuff down here. Let's get these CDs out the way and see what else we have. While he's looking through the CDs, let's look through the rest of the box here. So we have this guy here, which looks like one of those old things you used to be able to put your iPod on right there and play it through the speakers, which is kind of nostalgic. It's kind of weird that that's nostalgic. You know? <laughs> what is this? It looks very round. Looks like some kind of clock. What is it? Up oh, the Rams. Could we guess? Big Rams fan so far. I'm getting kind of feeling. Then we have ooh, wallet. I like wallets. Money. Money, 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 please. No, 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 no money. Let's get this out the way. Oh look, you got PIMP? Nice. I don't know what you heard about me. Oh, it's a tape wallet. Who remembers making these in school? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this the unit right here is bringing back some memories. What is this guy? Is this more CDs I missed? It's another stack, let's see, yeah. Another stack of CDs I missed. But that's the wallet we just went through. Here's one of these old phone cases in a wallet. Let's see. That's nothing in there. This right here. Ooh, has this got a phone in it? It's got something in it. What is that? An old Verizon phone. Ugh, that's nostalgia mm. right there. What is this big thing? Is that an amp? We're just saying we're hoping. Is this the one I went through yet? No. Uh, it's just heavy metal. Heavy metal? But what is it? Collector thing? Oh, there's nothing in there. Maybe it came with some of those CDs that are in that pile. It looks like a box set for a CD collection would be my guess, but this right here, that's got says Fender on it. So this probably goes to the guitar for sure. Let's see what this guy, ooh, kept at his desk. What you got in there for me? Come on. What you got in here? You keep a gun in there? Are you a psycho like me? Let's see. Ah! Being attacked by attacked tape. The tape. Ugh. I had to defend myself. Let's see. Oh, this looks like actual generic, boring desk stuff. This is the second box yep. that they packed up for him. There's a flash drive. I like to look on these. Who else likes to look on flash drives? There's another, oh, never mind. I thought that was a flash drive. Here's another flash drive. I'm gonna look at these. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this is definitely the, again, sir, you're fired. Pack your stuff up in the box and get out of here. That's what this box is for. Calculator, generic office stuff. That's a hole puncher, I can already tell you. And on this side, it's literally all paperwork and things like that. There so. might be some other stuff on the other side at the bottom. Where, over here? Yeah, I can't yeah, we'll tell. I saw it. something Monopoly, but... Okay, we'll go through it and see. So, you were right about Monopoly. Listen, that's the kind of sound I like to hear. Let's see, well, we got a news card. This is Zoomy stickers. Ooh, some gift cards, maybe? Now, these are... I don't even know, lacrosse? Okay. Oh, I see cash, cash. Ooh. Reloadable shopping card. Hey, we got Old this. school Walmart gift card. Right. Yeah, lids. This isn't actually, that's a, it expires in February of 2009. So, <clears throat> eh. 15 years, you know, too late. A check. Ooh, a check. Money. $2 bill. What's the check for? Let's see, how much is this for? Nothing, it's just pre-made out. Sweet, that means I get to write what I want on it. <laughs> no. Signature? Boom, $2 bill. 
And then we got, ooh, look at all that. Probably another few bucks right here too. That'll go to our change jug. We've been working on filling up a change jug for the last year and a half from storage units, and we're like 80% of the way there. This right here is definitely what you don't want to see in a storage Boo. unit. But since they tell me to leave personal papers behind, that to me looks like personal paper, so I will leave it behind. Let's go. Oh my gosh, why is this so heavy? Ugh. Oh, books. Yeah, that's why. But we don't know what kind of books they are. They could be valuable, so. We gotta take a peek in there and see what we're dealing with here. Uh, well, this is a bunch of, oh my gosh. Whoa. You remember these? Yes, I used this. to have like so many of those. I know, that's nostalgia. Oh, there's oh. another one in there. Oh. Whoa, there's like a bunch up. of them in there. The old Guinness, oh my gosh. Look how many of the Guinness Book World Records are in there. What about this one? This well, right here, Wrestling right. Madness. That's Goldberg oh, yeah. on it. Look at that, it got Goldberg on the front. Who's back here? That's Stone, Stone no. Cold. Is that yeah. Stone Cold? Yeah. Is this Ric Flair? Looks like it. I don't know who the or other ones are. Ric Flair. Yeah, I don't know the other one. No, I'm not sure. What okay. year, though? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, where is the year on this old wrestling book? Matt Hunter is the author. In the year 1999. So Macho was, Man. Macho Man Randy Savage. Snap into a <laughs> Slim Jim. And we got us a bunch more Guinness Book World Records and then some yearbooks. So the yearbook, of course, we're going to take out and make sure we leave behind for them to get back. So they showed in the pictures of the listing of this TV box. They now have the TV in it. So that's one of the things that made me know. Well, I bought from here before. This place isn't sketchy. Some places you got to look out for. This isn't one. Let's go to, well. You want some Easter eggs? We got <laughs> Baseball candy? Easter basket. Okay, Easter eggs. And let's see what this is right here. Ooh, oh, yeah. Okay, Easter eggs. This is money. These are medals. Again, personal medals. They'll get it back. Let's dig a little deeper though. What is this down here? That's the question. This is wrapped up tight too. Uh, is this somebody's new? card keeper let's see does it have cards in it no it's actually brand new like you said check that mm. out not bad box. i'm now gonna pull up this tote without anything else falling right yep if it does fall forgive me oh look at that beautiful 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 let's see i see cd cases can we get the video games this time i think we can Fire! Oh. frogger for windows 95 how nostalgic is that arcade classics check this out these Mama old God. games the sims double deluxe Look at this, Mortal Kombat, The Sims again. Oh my God, who remembers Roller Coaster Tycoon? What a good game back in the day. Uh, so this is just a bunch of old computer games and computer discs in general. I don't know how much these games hold value-wise, but they're definitely nostalgic to look at. They still have that mystery silver case. We'll look at that in a second, but first, what's in this? It's like a little duffel bag looking thing here. Let's go inside. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Well, nothing in front. It does feel like it has weight to it though, so there's gotta be something in the back, I would assume. No, I think it's just the, yeah, it's the just roller? the, yeah, it's a roller. It's just the weight all at the bottom. Feels like it's pulling it. Let's start pulling down. We have a stool right here. It looks like maybe a mechanic stool or another, actually a fitness stool, it says <laughs> right there. And if you're wondering to yourself, where are we gonna sell all the stuff we find in this unit and along with other units? And that is on the app called Whatnot. We are gonna be having a show actually this Tuesday two days from now where we're going to be selling 96 lots of all storage unit finds from this unit and our past unit and we start every single one at just one freaking dollar one dollar let's get this out of here really quick is that in there that is in there that is an old computer monitor nice that just looks like an elementary school thing <laughs> doesn't it it yeah. looks like it yeah, so if you want to sign up for whatnot guys Make sure you use our link on screen or go down in the description and click it. Click that link, if you use sign up using that one, it'll give you a free $15 credit. And if we start everything at a dollar, you do the math. You can get stuff for just shipping, really, really cheap. So after you make that account using that link, just simply ooh, download the app, log in with the information you just created, ugh, and then look us up. Our name is at THWGBIS, and you'll see our show this Tuesday. So don't 6 freaking 6 p.m. Eastern it. time. Yes, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We hope to see a lot of you guys there. You think this old computer is in the box? I definitely think so. Let's see. Well, is it new? <laughs> really? Look oh at my this. Gosh. It's in the plastic. What the heck? Like, I've never found technology this outdated that's like brand new. Like what Windows does this even run? Does it say Windows XP? So it's not quite as old as I would think it is. Oh my gosh, you see what it comes with over here? 
AOL membership. Wow. Yes, welcome guys. You got mail. If you remember that, you're probably at least in your 30s too. Doesn't this look like the old deal or no deal cases? Uh -huh. Or like the Mr. Beast videos and they're like, you just won $10,000. <laughs> but, hmm, I don't know. We're gonna set this right here. Then we're gonna open it in a second. It does look interesting. It looks really cool. Let's go to this. Well, this is just a chair, it looks like. What does that say? Pink, Pink ribbon, I hope. Just a chair. That's cool. We can never have enough of those like kind of outdoor chairs for our yard sales and stuff, so I'll take it. This right, oh, well, that's a box. Boo. This, mm, I want to get down over here. Come here. Ugh. We'll take this out the way first. Oh, okay. This looks like just a display shelf, but it's got two little drawers at the bottom. It's got nothing in it and nothing in it, but still a nice little display shelf, probably for golf balls or something like that, since we found a lot of golf or just sports stuff in general. This right here, yes, this is what I needed in my life. Guys, look, a, a scanner. Twain scan a scanner, this is what we needed. Color. A col oh my gosh, color scanner. This is revolutionary. It's like those hotels you drive by in 2024 <laughs> that have a sign that say colored TV or cable. I'm just like, no way, that is revolutionary. Let's take out this box right here and go through. Ooh, don't you follow me, Wood. I'm gonna put it right here on this table. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, I see a basketball. Oh, it's signed. It's signed. The signed basketball. The Globetrotters. The Harlem Globetrotters. Look at that. The signed ball. That's pretty cool. Nice. That is cool. Okay, this looks interesting. This is a like St. Louis stuff. Rams. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I was hoping for. <laughs> St. Louis Rams limited edition football right there. It sucks it's the Rams. I wish it was a team that didn't suck, but at least it's still something. Ooh, look. This is a signed baseball, but the problem with these are, who are these signatures? You know what I mean? You have to be able to read one. <laughs> Go ahead and read it for me. Uh, well, I haven't seen one, I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's signed, but by who? That's the question, who is it signed by? Oh, look at that, World Series, baseball. This is the kind of stuff I was hoping we'd get to eventually. We still have barely made a dent in this unit. Keep that in mind, we have a lot to go. Let's see what's wrapped up in this right here. This is. Ooh, there's a pocket watch in there. Look at that. Look at the display case first off. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's military. Look at that. You see like it's a soldier on the battlefield right there. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure this isn't customized. If it's customized, even though it's probably worth the money, we'd rather make sure they get it back. But if it's just a collectible type, like it is, 17 jewels is what it says in there. Yeah, this will definitely be for sale. Remember I was talking about earlier that whatnot auction? You don't want to miss it. We're gonna have stuff like this and I'm gonna start at all a dollar. Am I a psychopath? Maybe, that's debatable, but it doesn't matter. You just come take advantage of it and get the deals. Look at this guy here. Another signed ball. I just don't know by who. What does that say? The problem is these could be like Hall of Fame baseball players or it could be somebody's middle school baseball team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we have no idea what's in who's signed by. Another one. Who are these signed by? Why don't you have name plates? Uh, I have no idea. This one looks like it's printed signatures though. The other ones look yeah. like they're like actual live signatures. Those are printed. <gasps> look, jewelry box. Let's get Coin. it. Let's get it. Oh. Spidell, whatever that is. Well, it was sil it was a silver bracelet, it says on the bottom, but it's not in there. So maybe it's somewhere else in here, though. Let's go to this one. Is this another baseball? Yes, it is. Look at all these signed balls. We could be sitting on an absolute gold mine, or we could be sitting on something that's absolutely worthless. That's the fun of doing storage units, right? Right. We have no idea what it's all worth. Oh, here we go. Mark McGuire card right here in the thing. Bart, Mark, I thought it's called Bart. Mark, Big Mac McGuire, number 25, 17 homers, 170 needles. My man, Mark McGuire, <laughs> the needle, steroid guy. Let's see, another baseball, look at that. So the, all these balls are signed. I'm just gonna start opening them seeing if they have nameplates. If they don't have nameplates, it's not gonna do us any good to show you, unless you guys can recognize these signatures. But you know what I'm gonna do? The smart person would get these looked at and authenticated and see who they are. A person like me will just put them up on whatnot with no idea what they are and you might get a $2,000 ball for like five or 10 bucks because I'm crazy. A wooden football, St. Louis Rams. That's cool. Let's go a little deeper here, like right here. This is gonna be another card class. Come on, what's this one? That is Scott Rowland, number six from the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, now we're getting into some good man cave stuff. There's a big something at the bottom. Ooh, come on, something autograph, something autograph. Give me an autograph. Big name autograph. Oh, well, it's not a big autograph, but it is a big stadium and it's a really nice piece. Check that out. Let's see if it says anything on the back. No, but super nice still. Let me set that over here really quick. There's another big one down here too. Ooh. What's that? First off, 
What's in here? I didn't even see this. What is that? Some headphones or earbuds? Like it. Looks like earbuds. Looks like they still have the earwax on them. Okay. You want it? No. You know what, guys? I'll even sell you the earwax. You know what? I'll give it to you free of charge. If you want free earwax, just let me know down in the comments. Just make sure you subscribe. I'll give you free earwax. Giveaway on the one. No. <laughs> yes. Albert Padilla. It's a um, ticket uh, stub from 2004, so 20 years old now. Cool. Some nice baseball stuff here. Is that all that's in this box? Let's see. We're definitely towards the bottom. Oh, what is this? Something really tiny wrapped up in here. What is it? Come out. Uh, St. Louis Rams. Maybe that holds the football. The football I bet you. Yeah. A little wooden ball. Yeah. Then we got a car. That's nice. Always good to have a car. It's actually a remote control car right here. There's one ball I missed, which is just a uh, 19 years of magic, 1978 to 1996 baseball. So these are the kind of boxes we need to. F oh, coin rolls. That's a good sign. These people might have a coin collection somewhere in here. Usually, I've been buying storage units for a lot of years. The people that are into cards and baseball cards and baseball stuff are usually also into coins. So all it takes is one silver coin collection to triple this investment easy. I think I forgot to show, in front of all the shipping boxes, we have two parts of a wooden bed frame, another piece, and I'm thinking these are the wood pieces that you know connect them together so that it makes one giant bed frame. So let's get this out the unit. I didn't even realize this was sitting between the two bed frame pieces, but check this out. This really big cross with Jesus on it. This is a really nice wall hanger piece right here let's go to this little box right here see what this is it looks really random well we have a first off we have a lamp and then we have what is that mini super mini cleaner. super cleaner a pc mini vac that's that's cool what's wrapped up in here what is that looks like maybe an old router or something a com cable dsl router that's nice. what it is <laughs> look a single mortal combat com comic book it's kind of beat up let's see anything else hidden down in here like this fat envelope no, nah, these are just stuff they used to give you, uh, like when you order a cable box, you order a router, that kind of stuff. So nothing good. My card collectors should recognize these boxes right here. And I can tell you that's what it's going to be. Oh, yeah. The heat is on. Look at all that. These are all cards. Those are all cards, 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 cards. Looks like baseball cards, of course. So let's just grab like a couple of random and see where they're from. Probably going to be 90s. Uh, let's see. Where's the 89 actually, so 80s. But we usually just literally, I don't look through cards because we have to get too many of them. So how we sell them, speaking of whatnot, we just make a box full, like a medium box full, usually 10 pounds or so and just sell them like that. And people sometimes get like $1,000, $2,000 cards in there and they usually sell for under a hundred bucks. So you never know what you'll get from us. This one right here is literally nothing but photo albums all the way through. So I'm gonna set this one aside for them to get back. This box interests me because it said books spare. When I moved it, that's definitely not books. Ooh, that's somebody's picture. So this is a, it's a frame made out of golf balls but it does have somebody's picture in there. So we'll probably take the picture out so they get that back, but we're gonna keep the golf balls because that's good money. This, and what is this flat here? A happy home recipe. Four cups of love, two cups of loyalty, three cups of forgiveness. This is cringe, I'm putting it back in the box. And it's going to our yard sale pile. Let's get this uh, miscellaneous box here. I thought it was gonna come up easier, but it didn't want to. So let's go in this guy here. Miscellaneous, that's so miscellaneous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, let's oh, come here. Let me try to run for me. Uh, I don't know if that's their pictures or not, but it's a picture frame. I'll take the pictures out just in case. Randomness. This is very miscellaneous stuff. Uh, what's in here? Oh, whoa. Are these all unused or are they all like ones that somebody kept? Let's see. I'm running out of hands. Let's just open one right here. They look new, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. These are all new cards. Okay. Let's just set these right over there. This one is, ugh, come here. Well, some like little Disney toys. Check that out. Some Disney toys and a hot glue gun. When they said miscellaneous, they meant, they it, meant it. All right, we got some Adidas box right here. Let's see what this is first. This is a coffee mug. What does this one say? Something cringy? Don't be cringy. Ooh, ooh, new market. It has a golf outing, first place. So this is something personalized. Somebody won. We'll put that over here with the stuff they get. This the is, box. oh, oh box. yeah, the box. You can have the box too. <laughs> the thread, I wanna know what's in the Adidas box. Probably not shoes. Actually, the weight feels right. These are brand Adidas new. Golf shoes. Brand new Adidas golf shoes. What's up with that? Huh, we'll take it. That's money, easy sales. This one here, these new. Yeah, look at that. 
Another brand new pair of dress shoes. I thought we were done with these. Our last unit had like 150 pairs. Like it was crazy. This one, this just says nothing. Let's see. Oh, one, two. This is, oh, this has somebody's name on it. These are personalized like golf ribbons. So again, look at this back. I, I, I don't know what to say about this bra. It's got gloves, $100 bills, and cards on it. That's just gonna go in the box. This pulled this thing off of the top of this tote here. I don't know what the heck that thing is. Shelf. Wood and something. But let's get into the green tote right here and see what's in there. Ooh. Okay, okay. Some Christmas stuff here. Well, some more Christmas. Is that a knitted gingerbread house? It is. That is impressive. It that is. is. Genuinely impressive. This right here. Yeah, they're all the way down. It's just Christmas stuff. Should I go for the tote, the clothes box, or make it challenging and go for the far box? Challenging. All right. If you far think. box. Oh, Reach. This one's actually really light, unfortunately. Oh. But it has the date on here, 98. So it's been in here for quite some time, over 25 years. So let's see what's in here. Slice and dice crazy how long some people store stuff i mean like it's probably been in here for that long too oh this looks like baby stuff huh baby blankets so far baby cards baby pillows it has their names on like it like memory stuff yeah this is definitely a box that we want to make sure they get back i was trying to get to this shoe box back here hunter's bay leather collection Ooh! all jewelry boxes these are all jewelry boxes oh my gosh don't be empty please 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 cross your fingers Oh no, that one's empty. Uh -oh. No, don't do this to me. Ooh, that one's heavy. That one's heavy. Let's see. In here? Uh. No, genuine sapphire. Don't do this to me. This one's empty. No, no. Oh my gosh. No, really? Did you keep all these empty jewelry boxes? Really? Really? I'm open like two more. Then I'm for just gonna what? Put them all off camera. Just to troll somebody one day. They're like, one day okay. we're not gonna pay for our this trash. Right. One day we're not gonna pay for our storage bill, and then somebody else is gonna get it, and they're gonna think they have something, and it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> we only paid 25 years on this, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it that day. Uh, birthday bit. These are all empty. Let's go through the rest, and then we'll come back if there's anything in them. Final offer. Open mm. the box. Deal or no deal? I gotta see it first. You gotta open. That's how this deal. works. Deal. All right, your grand prize is ten styrofoam. You, congratulations, wow. you got styrofoam. Yeah. Okay, that one might be empty, but the brown one over here is definitely not empty. So let's go home and get some tools and pop that sucker open and see what we have. So far, we've done pretty good on this storage unit. You know, we've done, we only gone through maybe 25, 30% of it, and we've made a good chunk of our money back. We still don't know what's in this guy right here. I've tried combos of like birthdays I've seen in there, kids' birthdays, family's birthday. I even tried a bank number I saw on a paper. None of them open it. So the only thing to do is to break the suitcase open. Let's break it open and see if there's even more money inside. Hopefully this thing will break easy. I got a screwdriver over here. Hoping I could just stick it in the little thing right here. Pop it like this. And this suitcase just broke my screwdriver in half, but it was enough to pop the lock. So at least we're moving in the right direction. Does it, this one pop too? No, oh yeah. Did this thing really just have to twist the whole time? Really? We couldn't figure that out, the two of us. But I guess I lost the dollar screwdriver, but now we get to see what's in the suitcase. Oh, do we? Yeah, Oh. Well, I thought I was gonna have to break it. I was all excited to break something and then all I ended up breaking was my own suitcase. Well, I thought it was locked. It turns out you just gotta twist it. But it looks like, ooh, you think these can have money in them? Make sure you're, you're subscribed and come back because we have a lot more of the unit, like a lot more of it. And I think we're gonna find a lot more collectibles. I think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg, guys. Well, nothing in here. So until next time, peace out.